is looking at you as an advantage, taking advantage of you, and they satisfied with doing so. All you were tuned to is that ass. They are tuned to that cash. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You looking at them like it's some endless possibilities. And my G said, dud, you got life and bullshit fucked up, player, male or female. You went through this shit before. You went through this per through through. You went through this person. You done been all through this motherfucker, they said. And you concluded some things. You conclude you came to your own conclusions, and my G said those conclusions were accurate. You celebrated being away from this person, but you still was friends with them. But they friends with everybody else while you was healing. While you was healing. Listen, you don't you don't have to heal going through bullshit. After you had got rid of this person, right, my G Sam, after you got rid of this person, you started healing. You pulled yourself up by the bootstraps, they said. They said you pulled yourself up and you it was it was happiness all around you. It was happiness all around you, but you hmm. My G said you Three's a crowd. You dealing with somebody else as well. You you scattering your energy. But this this main person who who done popped up in your life or you dealing with now, this person is the one who got your nose wide open. This person got your nose wide open. My G said you need to trust in your power. You need to trust in your power. Because you overindulging a bit too much. They said you eating too much and you, you you indulging in sexual escapades too much with this person mm -hmm, and with somebody else. But some shit stopped. You was to yourself for a minute. But you got some attachments. Some, some 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 attachments you addicted to this person they said you need to restrict yourself you stopped your spiritual transformation dealing with this person yeah and this person always acting like they don't give a fuck that mask come off here and there they try to keep a straight face but they don't even really want to be around you my g said they don't want to deal with you they around you because you got a good job yeah, they around you because you got a good job, because you got some money, and, 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 and you see they draining that shit. Because you got a budget. You got a budget. Where your savings playing at? You behind on bills. And you got a good job. You see when this person come around, everything fall to the wayside. Are you not recognizing, analyzing, and realizing that? This video just started over. It did. I don't know what's up with this storage. I got a whole new SD card, y'all, and it's starting to get on my nerves because <laughs> I don't know what to do. I delete everything on a day-to-day -day basis, so y'all write in the comments what I can do. Whoever listening, hey. Your career booming right now. It is. Your, your career is booming right now. My G said you healthy. You healthy. Physically. But this this shit that you this this feelings, these feelings that you got for this person, you smitten by this person and you feel like they nourish you. You feel like they nourish you. And my G said, no, this person don't have any compassion for you. Nothing at all, soldier. But you keep putting on your cape for this person. And this person is causing too much rupture and division within yourself and your goddamn pockets. Boss up is what they said. You got to boss up in your spirit first. It's time for folks to realize what their purpose is. And you're going to have to sit off to yourself 
and identify your weaknesses. You keep going through the same fucking lessons. You making it hard out here for yourself, and it's unnecessary changes that you got to go through is what my G said. You got abundance coming. A lot will be renewed in you once you let go of old people, places, and things. Everybody don't grow at the same rapid pace. It takes time for some people for their spiritual journey, and that's what's meant. And you can't look at this person like they slacking. My G's wanted me to say that. You can't look at this person why they slacking because you don't know their destined path. You don't know what they have to go through in this lifetime to spiritually evolve. Everybody got to learn some lessons so they can get to the next level out here in this matrix. But you stuck at the same level. You got a solid foundation, right? You had stepped into your power until you went back. Can we be friends with this person type shit? They preying on your emotions. They de most definitely playing up in your head because they are not who they said they are. They see you glowing. You they inspiration because you feed them. You feed them, you feed them them coins. You feed them them coins, they said, and that's causing so much corruption and, de and delays in, in your pockets and then your energy scattered. Learn to be solo dolo. You need to do that for a minute, whoever I'm talking to. Take a spiritual bath, research that. Quit fucking out of both draw legs. Quit trying to talk to every woman or every man that you meet you want a relationship with. You don't even have a relationship with yourself. More importantly, you don't have a relationship with most high. Walk the walk and talk the talk. You want a real woman, real man. You want somebody to match your energy where you got a vibe at that frequency. You half and half with yourself. So whatever coming to you is gonna be half and half with you. But this half a hoe or this niggeroni that you dealing with, they savage. They savage and you know it already. You know it, but you was feeling lonely and you got weak. They penetrated through that dang on wall that you had put up and now you back at square one, you did a 360. You did a 360 in life, my G said. You went right back to the point of origin of where all the bullshit began because you don't know how to keep yourself to yourself.